Welcome to the political classroom. In this video, we will explore the debate between realism and real politic, examining their principles and providing examples to understand their implications in international relations. Realism, a prominent theory in international relations, posits that states primarily act in their own self-interest, driven by power and security considerations. It assumes that states are rational actors pursuing their national interests. Real politic, on the other hand, is a pragmatic approach that prioritizes the pursuit of national interests over moral or ideological concerns. It focuses on practical considerations and takes into account the complexities of the real world. Realism and real politic are evident in various historical events and contemporary affairs. For example, the geopolitical conflicts in the Middle East, such as the rivalry between Iran and Saudi Arabia, can be understood through the realist lens. Both countries compete for influence and power in the region. The Cold War between the United States and the Soviet Union is a prime example of realism. Both superpowers engaged in a global power struggle, driven by their own security concerns and desire for influence. The arms race, proxy wars, and the balance of power were key elements of this realist perspective. Realism provides a lens through which we can understand the dynamics of the international system. It emphasizes the importance of power, competition, and the pursuit of national security as driving forces in international relations. Realism highlights the significance of alliances and balancing power. An example of this can be seen in NATO, North Atlantic Treaty Organization, where member states form a collective defense alliance to deter potential adversaries and preserve their security interests. Realism provides insights into military interventions and conflicts. States may engage in military actions to protect their national interests or to secure strategic resources, as seen in historical events like the invasion of Iraq in 2003. Real politic can be observed in instances where states prioritize their national interests over humanitarian concerns. For example, during conflicts or crises, states may make pragmatic choices to secure their own interests, even if it means supporting regimes with questionable human rights records. Real politic strategies can involve forming alliances with countries or groups that share common interests, regardless of their ideological differences. It may also include engaging in covert operations or using economic leverage to advance national interests. In the realm of economics, real politic can be observed in trade relations between countries. States may engage in strategic economic policies, such as imposing tariffs or economic sanctions, to protect their industries or gain an advantage over others. Real politic remains relevant in contemporary politics. For instance, states often engage in real politic when forming trade agreements, negotiating treaties, or responding to geopolitical challenges. They carefully consider their own interests and make pragmatic choices to maximize their gains. It's important to note that both realism and real politic have their limitations. Over reliance on power and self interest can neglect ethical considerations leading to human rights abuses or a disregard for international norms. To address global challenges, cooperation and multilateralism are crucial. While realism and real politic highlight state-centric perspectives, collaborative efforts through international organizations and treaties promote shared interests and foster stability in the international system. That's all for today. If you find this video informative then like share and subscribe to our channel.